Okay, hi Sarah, this is Troy from Georgia Tech, uh, and I'll try to show you what's going on with our instrument here. I've got um, the gas flow on, uh, oh, turn that on, um, to reasonable values, but the uh, electricity turned off so I can have the front plate removed from the mass spec. So that's what it's currently set to. Um, if we come over here, uh, if we disconnect the desaldation flow up top, um, we, it is pushing at about 300 feet per minute. If I turn that all the way down to zero, you can, might be able to hear that in the background, it does turn off. However, there's still very strong flow coming from uh, down here below the, um, the nozzle, even though the desalvation line is disconnected. Uh, the flow that comes out of this nebulizer tube also regulates properly. So the pressure at the top for the nebulizer is very high. Uh, it's just basically the pressure the full raw pressure from the nitrogen tank, but this is what it should be. If I turn that off, it turns off there as well. So I'll turn that all the way down, and we have no more flow from that tube. However, you might still be able to hear the hiss of air, and it's coming, it's as if this pent up pressure in the nebulizer line that comes in here is leaking somehow inside of the probe such that we get a very high flow rate, higher than the 300 feet per minute you know, that the desalvation is usually set for, coming out here at the bottom. And this pressure in, in a, this line that comes in at the top seems to be what pushed solvent backwards up through this and may have caused further problems. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas and uh, helps identify the problem. Thank you. Bye.